Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm coming on today after trying a pretty crazy experiment and I just thought it'd be really fun to show you guys. So here we are. Should I show you and then tell you, tell you, show you, tell you? Hmm. Basically, I tried out using Kaolin clay as a hair mask. So I've done bentonite clay, which you guys have seen my, my video of doing bentonite clay. And I've been mixing bentonite and rasu. I think I've done rasu by itself as well. Yeah, I have done rasu by itself at least once. And I've had this kaolin clay forever, like just meaning to make a co-wash from it because it has this really smooth silky texture so it's really good for using in products to have a light clean fluffy texture as opposed to using like bentonite or rasu which would kind of make your product a little heavier and stuff but I still haven't actually made my co-wash while I have been doing clay washes so I decided to just use the kaolin clay in my clay wash but before I did that I wanted to know for myself what the kaolin clay really did and the best way to do that to me is to use it by itself so that's why we are here <laughs> so it was interesting. Take a look, I'll come back and we'll talk about it. Take a look. So I start off with the Kaolin clay powder and pour some. I'm not really a measurer, but that's how much I pour it. Then I use some warm to hot water and mix the clay. I did more Kaolin because again, I'm not measuring and I felt like it needed some more. Then I add my coconut milk. So at this point it's looking really good. The texture is like a whip. It was really nice. I put some apple cider vinegar next. After the apple cider vinegar it still looks okay but not as good. And then I added some aloe vera juice. But here's where it all went wrong. I think I just put way too much. Like just because I put it out doesn't mean I have to use all and I don't know why I just kind of like used all. Then I just added some honey in my oil mix but it never really recovered that thick texture. It was still very runny. I put some more clay and it was still very runny at the end, so I just kind of left it at that. And then I just went to go apply it. <laughs> I know it's runny, so like, I know it's going to be a <laughs> interesting, but you know, I'm going for it. So, yep, it's like everywhere as you can see. <laughs> But yeah, I just worked it in. The slip wasn't the best, which I guess is typical of clays. So I just carefully worked it in. And since it was pretty much everywhere already, I decided to just go ahead and do the face mask. So this is me covered <laughs> in Carolyn Clear hair and face. My hair was really big, like I had big hair with the clay, which is a first for me. Usually my hair is pretty flat with clay. But I did get good coverage and I was pretty happy with it. I was kind of impressed actually at how big and fluffy my hair was with the clay. So this is a really light clay if you are looking for a really light clay to use. So yeah, I just covered it up with my plastic cap to let it sit for like 20 minutes just to work it in a little bit. And when I took it down, my hair did feel soft and moisturized and everything, so it was a good treatment. And I do feel like it clumped my curls a little bit. Not as much as the rasul, but I saw some definition there. So yeah, I think it does a fine job. So then I just go in and scrub my scalp because I always forget to do this when I'm filming. 
And I do want to give my scalp a clear treatment as well. And I rinsed it thoroughly. I took my time and rinsed to make sure I get all the clay out. And this is my final result after rinsing. I was pretty happy with it. My hair did feel soft. I did have some definition. I did have some reduction in frizz. My hair was still pretty big, it had a lot of movement, it wasn't weighed down at all. It was clean and everything, so job well done, <laughs> Carolyn. And good definition, less frizz, and it was clean and everything, so yeah, I'm happy with the end result. <laughs> Even though it was messy, we came out the other side and I had a good treatment in the end. Yeah, that was crazy, right? Oh my gosh, I was like just bathing in it, covered in it, coated in it, it was everywhere. Carolyn is a good play like Bentonite and Rasu for the hair, so it wasn't as crazy as it looked. It was just a bit messy. When I was mixing it at first, there was a certain point where the texture was just amazing. It looked like marshmallow whipped, if you're making marshmallows as wet. It looked like that, so it was like fluffy, creamy, light, whipped almost, and I'm sure it would have gone on great then. But it just didn't expand at all, at all. Like even, at least Rastool expands a little bit, but this didn't expand at all. So I had to use probably two cups of clay just to make it that runny, to get everywhere. And to get that paste back, I would have had to add more kaolin and I just didn't want to do that. Because I think it's kind of pricey, so I decided to just leave it at that. But having it that runny was super messy, as you saw. But I would probably not do kaolin alone again, just because of how much I would need to make a mask. In terms of results, it's a lot finer and lighter than both Rastool and Bentonite. So it did clump my curls and define my curls, but I would say not as much as Rasul and Bentonite. And also didn't elongate my curls as much as Rasul and Bentonite. Usually when I use a clear wash, my curls are like this, like just totally stretched. And this time it was like bouncy, like if I was using a deep conditioner. So I guess if you are using a clear wash mostly for definition and elongation, then you probably want to stick to... Rasul or Bentonite. If you have fine hair and you find that the other clays Rasul and Bentonite just kind of weigh your hair down and just do too much, then I would definitely recommend giving the Carolyn a try. It did do a good job. My hair was clean, soft, and moisturized, so I can't complain. It's definitely usable, definitely good. Doesn't remove as much frizz or elongate as much as the others. It removes different toxins from the others, so I wouldn't say necessarily switch to this one, but if you do both or mix them, you will probably remove even more toxins than if you just use one or the other. One being bentonite or rasu. Both are kind of similar in terms of the kind of toxins they remove. That's why I kind of class them together. And also their source both being volcanic. Rasu is really conditioning but a little pricey and you know, it doesn't stretch as far as bentonite. Whereas bentonite is very cleansing. If you want to see me do a follow-up video of when I mix all three, definitely let me know in the comments below and I can show you that as well. Let me know what you thought of the experiment. I just thought it would be fun to come on and share my experiment with you because I just haven't been doing that many experiments since even starting YouTube, been more doing product reviews. So I was like, yay, I'm doing an experiment. So I was really happy to try it. And as crazy as it went, it went crazy in a kind of happy way as well. So yay for that. If you were curious about trying curl and clean your hair, <laughs> I don't know if I would say no, you don't have to, but you can see how it works in my hair and then decide for yourself what you think. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.